here are some examples of insulators and conductors for you. Here I have a glass teapot. You can see it's really, really easy for me to pick the lid up. It's not hot, I can touch any part of it and I can touch it fine. If I touch the metal on the inside, that's going to be really hot. This is because metal is a conductor and glass is an insulator. So here this teapot works really well because the surroundings are made of glass, so they're nice and easy to touch, but the bit inside, and there is only a tiny bit inside of metal, that's going to be really hot, that's going to be conducting um, the heat there, but the outside is absolutely fine to touch, that doesn't get hot at all because it's a good insulator. China ceramics are also good insulators, so that's why you can pick up your cup of tea and be able to touch it, whereas the tea inside is actually going to be really, really hot. So insulators and conductors are all about how well they transfer energy. In an insulator, the transfer of energy is poor. So like, the teacup will get hot eventually. It will just take a very, very, very long time. And by the time we've done that, the tea's probably cold or you've drunk it anyway. Conductors easily transfer energy. So they easily transfer the heat from one place to another. The metals do this really well because of their free electrons. I'll do a separate video explaining that in a lot more detail because that gets quite complicated. But if you're confused about insulators and conductors, just imagining you're putting some baked beans on the hob to make some beans on toast for tea or something. And you've got two spoons in there. You've got a wooden spoon in there and a metal spoon in there. The wooden spoon is an insulator, so that's going to stay cool so you can stir it. The metal spoon is going to get really, really hot and you won't be able to touch that to stir your beans because it's a good conductor. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.